What's up everyone? Welcome back to Just Finish Coding. This is part 5 of our Connect 4 series on Scratch 3. So let's get coding. Just finished coding. Now quick interjection here. If you've not watched parts 1 to 4, please watch them before you come here because we're picking up from where we left off and you will be very lost. I'll leave a card for you right here. Please watch the videos and then come right back. If you're still here, I'm going to assume that you've watched parts 1 to 4, in which case let's head over to our controller sprite and get on with our check winner function. Once you're in your controller sprite, you want to scroll up or down and find this block which says define win 3. And uh, I'm going to drag this block all the way down. And once I have this, I'm obviously going to edit it just like the previous blocks. I'm going to add an input and I'm going to call it side. Now, once I'm done with that, I can hit enter. And now I'm just going to duplicate all of this code right here and put it into the check winner 3 function. And I think something went a bit uh, haywire due to the long length of the code. And uh, I'm just going to zoom out so that you guys can see a bit better. All right. So now for this um, check winner function, which is win3, what we're going to do is to check if the player has one um, diagonally right upwards. So it's going to be something like this if you follow my mouse pointer. Now to do this, it's pretty simple. But once again, we have to initialize a bunch of variables. And uh, you will understand why I'm doing this. It may seem tedious for now, but uh, just keep in mind that this will make our code way, way, way faster. So now I'm going to make a variable called y and then another variable called z. And both of them are going to be set for this sprite only. Now I'm going to change all the k's to be y's. And uh, well, uh, after I've done the uh, case, uh, after I've changed the case to y, I'm going to change the uh, l's to be um, z. Okay, so uh, change... Uh, Wait a sec, that was, yeah, I accidentally messed that up. So this was going to be Y and uh, this one was going to be Z. So your inner loop is going to be Z while your outer loop is going to be, um, uh, outer loop is going to be Y. So make sure you have that in place. And uh, once you've set up everything, now you have to change it within this main if statement. And uh, for this if statement, things are a little bit complicated. So just stay with me right here. For the first element, I'm just going to change the k to y and the l to z. Now I'm going to scroll to my right. And for the second element, I'm going to change the k to be a y. And uh, also, I'm going to change the l to be a z. But instead of plus 1, what I'm going to do is to just uh, change that to be minus 1. And I'm actually going to move the plus 1 out of the way. And from operators, I'm going to grab a minus, okay? I'm going to put my y into the first one, put in a minus one, and then put my code where it says apple. Now for the z, you need to do something very similar, but you just have to put it uh, within your plus operator instead of your minus operator. And now you can put that back in. And now you want to do the same thing for the other. So for example, um, this I am going to uh, change this variable to be y, and I'm going to change this variable to be z. And once again, I'm going to move this out. I'm going to switch the plus and minuses. I'm going to put the plus in the Z block. And I'm going to grab a minus from operators and put in a one and wait, that was two. And I'm going to put in the Y inside that. Now you want to do this for all four of them or rather um, one more in this case. And uh, once I'm done with that, I'm going to be right back. All right, I just finished changing that. And uh, now I'm going to explain the code as I have written it. Okay, so now I'm going to head back to um, the code centered up and I'm going to um, zoom into my stage. So now when we think about it, we are decrementing from the um, x axis and we are incrementing in the y axis. I mean, in this case, our x axis and y axis are sort of twisted up, but um, just bear with me, okay? So what we're going to do is we'll be um, uh, changing x by minus 1. So the x coordinate would be minus 1. And when we change our y coordinate by one, that's going to be plus one um, horizontally, right? So by that, what we essentially do is to have in a checker continuously this way. So we're gonna have it from the bottom to the top. And uh, obviously for that, you do need to make some changes. Since we're going from the um, bottom to top, initially we wanna set y to be six, and we wanna repeat until y is equal to three. Because uh, once we are three, there's absolutely no hope of having a connect four diagonally. And we have to stop the process uh, once y is done checking for four. Now for z, 
the um, process is almost the same except that uh, we're just going to change this 4 to be 5 and uh, that's pretty much it. Once you have this, that would be it for your win3 function. Now let's get into the win4 function. So I'm going to scroll back up and grab this block all the way from the top which says define win4. And once I've dragged it to the bottom, the first thing I'm going to do just as usual would be to edit this block. So I'm going to uh, right click, click edit, add in an input and the input is once again going to be called side. Once you have that in place, now you can uh, basically copy all of your code. So I'm just going to duplicate all of this and put it in here. And uh, I'm going to have some new variables set up once again. Now I do have to take in some inventory of what I've got and uh, I guess I'm going to set the variables to be E and F. So once again, make sure you set it for the sprite only. And uh, once you're done with that, now you can get into changing these blocks. So initially I want to, uh, I want to change all the Y's to be E's. So wherever I see a uh, Y, I'm going to change that to be an E. So change Y to be E. And I'm going to change all the Z's to be an F. So uh, change this to F, change this one to F. And in case you're wondering how I got that, it's just by right clicking. And uh, last, I'm going to change this Z to be F. Perfect. Now, once you're done with this, what you need to do now is to modify this um, loop. Okay. So first, you have um, this block which says, um, set e to 6 and that is fine and uh, here we repeat until uh, e is 3 and that actually reminds me right here we made a small mistake I mean your program would basically crash because of this okay and the reason is since we set y to be 6 at the beginning um, the y value would just keep incrementing because of this code and uh, we never reached that condition so make sure you have a minus set up right there and uh, it's fine if you have um, z set up as a plus now you can scroll back down and uh, you need to make a couple of changes. So first you want to change E by minus 1 and within your inner loop, first you want to set F to be 7 and once you're done with that, you want to uh, be uh, repeating until not F is equal to 5 but F is equal to 3. And even within your condition, you do have to make some changes. Uh, but before I get into that, I'll also change this by negative 1, not negative 11. And uh, now, we, now let's get into our condition. So this block is going to be checking if the um, particular block is going to be going left upwards, okay? Or you can also view it as right downwards. So we start right at the bottom and then we see if we can go upwards. So as a result of that, we'll be decrementing both the uh, X value and the Y value. So what we can do here is to go, um, go right here and uh, instead of changing all of your code, obviously you have to change the variables. So I'm going to set uh, y to be e here and z to be f. But apart from the variables, what you can really do is instead of, you know, changing these operators, just change them to be minus one. So uh, when you're adding minus one, that's going to be the same thing as subtracting one. So that could, uh, that could uh, save you a whole lot of time right there. But you still do have to do this um, time consuming and annoying work of changing variables. Now make sure you have these minus twos incorporated everywhere. Uh, if you don't have that uh, set up, that could result in a lot of bugs later on in your game. So now that I've set this up, that is pretty much going to be constituting to our entire check winner function. So now I can clean up my code and now go to the next step. So for the next step, what's left is to define the check winner function. So I'm going to scroll all the way back up. And uh, here you can see we have already defined check winner, but each of these parameters are empty. So what we're going to have inside this parameter, what we're basically just going to put in is the turn variable. And this is going to pretty much have the entire check uh, winner function working and uh, that'll ensure we do not have any errors. Now, like I mentioned, this will lead to a whole bunch of lag issues, but that's fine as of now. Just make sure you have this in place. And um, in the next video, we'll be fixing the lag and uh, making our program a lot faster. And uh, that's it we'll be coding in this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.